Hi guys, hope you are all doing well today. And I will show you how you can create your own component library exactly like Setshian, Magic UI, and UI layout using Next.js with MDX. This was requested by many subscribers after I launched my component library called UI layout. My component library used content layer just like Setshian. But I realized for someone who wants to create a component library and set up every feature that I have in my UI layout, it will really take lots of time. And after doing some research, I found a better way using Next MDX and Code Hike. Maybe you guys know about Remotion and Remotion built upon Code Hike. And it has many features like easy support for light and dark mode. It has class name features to mark the code. Like you can use Tailwind CSS over here. It has focus. So if I just click any of this. And it has line numbers. It has token transition. Remotion use this feature. It had tool keep, so if I hover over it, uh, it have transpile, which I use also in my UI layout. And if it has by default copy button, call ops, code mentions, and so many things. You can just explore everything over here. So this is the starter repo that I've created for you all, so that you can easily create your own component library. And uh, I'll give you the link uh, to the description or comment section. So this is the homepage, and if you click, th click this button, it will take you to the UI layout homepage and uh, let's go to the get start page and we have a cool features over here we have a TypeScript to JavaScript compiler so if you click the JavaScript then uh, uh, you will get the JavaScript code if you click the TypeScript then you can uh, you will get the TypeScript code and you can also copy the code okay so this uh, one of the key features that uh, we have now if I go to the components uh, so that's all the component we have and uh, i will show you the components uh, so this is the button components you can directly uh, copy the code from here and also you can uh, uh, click over here to see the code so this is the code and again we have the functionality uh, to we have the tab for our typescript to javascript okay and javascript to typescript so yeah that's it and uh, if i go to the clip path uh, we ha have this and uh, the best part is you can uh, now reload it okay to see if there's an animation and uh, definitely if you create your own library there will be like uh, lots of animation component and you can just uh, easily user can sorry user can easily just click over here and then uh, the component will be reload again and uh, you can uh, copy the code from here and, uh, you don't need to uh, go to the code the tabs again okay so you can just copy from here and if you go to the code then you will see the code okay and uh, this is the product card and product card also have the same features like the buttons if you um, click over there it will uh, open a, a pop-up and show you the code and there's a the things like if i just uh, inspect it and uh, go to the mobile version did you see it's responsive okay so uh, the whole comp website is not responsive because basically if you are the one who want to create a um, component library uh, own component library then definitely you know how to uh, make responsive website okay in the footer we have responsive tab that allows you to switch between desktop to tablet and tablet to mobile views and if you go to hover footer you will see a file tab instead of the expanding code button maybe you remember we have uh, all the time we have a expand button over here and you need to click on that and then you see all the others code so i i don't like it because uh, i user need to see it from here okay uh, they don't need to again go scroll down and click the expand button so that's why I just add um, all the file uh, as a tab and if I go to the horizontal scroll it have the same features so yeah that's all it have uh, and I think uh, it's like a combo things you can easily use for any any um, component library uh, you will be created okay and don't forget to start the repo and you can easily fork it or you can um, download it as a zip or you can just uh, copy or clone it okay so yeah so now i will just explain the folder structure and everything that uh, how you can easily use it for your own component library okay so i'll explain first the folder structure okay so first we have the app asset component config content hooks leaves and registry okay so all the in the app we have the route okay so this is a page home page this is basically all the docs page okay we have component get stored and component page okay and these are live component basically uh, maybe you noticed we have we are using a uh, responsive things so i'm using basically iframe so for this i'm using this one live component okay so in the component we have basically uh two folder like you can easily see it from here okay so in the component we have core and lab so i delete the wrap 
folder. So lab basically when you have a component uh, but you don't want to share the code because there's some experiment you have done. So then you can uh, add this component in the labs folder. But right now we don't have it so I just remove it. So we have core and website. So in the core basically we will add all the component uh, that uh, uh, the main component okay uh, that really used in uh, all the others component just uh, register we have all the component okay so suppose you know, I click the blur bignity so in the blur bignity we have this one the core component so that's why I add it in the core okay and uh, if I go to the website so in the website we will add all the things that needed for the website so we ha have the UI okay um, and uh, we have code components that helps us to visual the code and all the other things like we had dryer code component so if you just click the button a dryer will be visible with the code okay and uh, we have iframe component so iframe basically when you go to the horizontal scroll and this is the iframe component uh, if I just inspect then you will see okay this like UI layout animation dot parcel dot app this is not the same URL and uh, if i just go there uh, iframe tab so this tab basically used used for this one if i just go over there these tabs okay okay so we have pre-coded and pre-coded so pre-coded helps to visualize the code in the component and and pre-code helps to visualize the code outside the component and we have the copy button so this is the copy button we have component block and component code preview okay so we are using this component code preview for all of our component so whenever you create a new component definitely you need to add it in the register component folder and definitely you need to create a new mdx okay but suppose you are already have an mdx called footers and you have a comp you want to add a new components for footer so you just need to go to the footer object so we are here okay and you need to uh, copy this object with all these keys and definitely all the component name need to be unique because this is the uh, uh, the key things that we use to identify the component and show it, uh, the components and code and everything okay and this is the doc.tss ts and uh, definitely when you create a new component you need to also add the uh, add it over here okay and this is the component name uh, suppose this is a creative DDC. so and if i add a new object with new component name then it will create another one and these things basically used for uh, sidebar and search bar and we have hooks uh, definitely is for hooks and we have leave uh, we, uh, we use the docs folder which basically generate all the mdx uh, to this one uh, this slag so now you need to understand mdx component dot tsx so this one thing basically helps us to centralize all of our markdown elements in one place uh, like uh, the blur this component and all the other things okay so you can easily uh, add a tag over here and uh, add a style on it and you can also use a uh, tailwind classes in mdx like we did in the buttons because uh, we are using a tailwind plugin called typography okay yeah i think that's all you need to know to create your own component library and don't forget to start the repo not only just uh, the starter repo uh, also start the repo to my component library called ui layout and please subscribe the channel See you in the next video. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.